Warning, the video you're about to watch may cause you to open your eyes, throw off the yoke of your indoctrination, and realize the earth is actually flat. Viewer discretion is advised. But please, try this at home, and then share it with the rest of us. Welcome everyone. I'm back with the another dispositive proof of our flat earth. To quickly recap, we had a laser test across the Great Salt Lake at a distance of 34 kilometers or 21 miles. According to the globe math, this laser source and its reflection should have been 223 feet or 68 meters below the supposed globe geometric horizon. We also had a laser test across Utah and Idaho at Bear Lake at a distance of 19 miles. With that test, the laser source and its reflection should have been hidden 173 feet below the globe curvature. I personally conducted both of these tests, and despite what the propaganda say, these tests were conducted honestly and exactly as I claimed in the videos, and I've conducted many other tests as well, all proving that water actually lays flat when it's undisturbed, and that there is no imaginary globe curvature hump caused by gravity. But one of the common naysayer objections is that these laser tests, and most of the others that I've shared, are across bodies of water as though the alleged huge mounds of gravity-curved water simply vanish without a trace just because the test was conducted over a body of water. That makes no sense. Regardless, you're in for a treat today, because this next laser test was across a very flat land. As always, you don't have to believe me or anyone, as you can go out and do these laser tests yourself. Strangely, I couldn't call myself a flat earther until I filmed it myself back in early 2016. I had to see it with my own eyes. So, I encourage you to do it yourself, and you will never hear a globe propagandist tell you the same. This laser test was conducted by Mike from the YouTube channel, Mikey Smith. I'll have a link in the description. Please head over to his channel and give him your support. As you can see from the title, this laser test was conducted along railroad tracks adjacent to Highway 33 in Saskatchewan, Canada. I know, it's a 33. No, I'm not a Mason, and I certainly don't support Freemasonry. Mike also confirmed that he is not a Mason and far from it. It just happens Highway 33 is one of the flattest and straightest roads anywhere. In fact, the Norwegian name of this area is translated as Flat Place. At least they knew. But here's an interesting point from Wikipedia. The highway runs along a somewhat famous rail line. The Regina Section Branch Line was the longest piece of straight track worldwide and still has the claim of being the longest straight track of North America. Highway 33 follows along this surveyed rail line. In other words, this rail line has been surveyed flat, and that's why it's a perfect place for flat earth testing over land. For the very astute Flat Earth researcher, maybe you remember Highway 33. It's the same road used by this globe-loving bicyclist as a propaganda video. Of course, the bicyclist did not actually do anything to measure whether there was a curvature of the Earth, but only relied on a presupposition of how the sun works and sticks and shadows that can be explained by either a globe or a Flat Earth model. Yet, this video has over 3.6 million views. Ridiculous, but that's your YouTube algorithm steering people away from true Flat Earth videos. Que sera sera. Simply stated, sticks and shadows will not determine whether the land you're standing on curves away from you at 8 inches per mile squared. And to claim otherwise is asinine. Yes, despite the vacuous claims of the globe propagandists, 8 inches per mile squared is very accurate over all visible distances as proven by AutoCAD. But isn't it pathetic that sticks and shadows are the best the globe proponents can do to attempt to prove the curvature of the Earth? That was actually one of the reasons why I became a flat earther, because the globe arguments are so weak. Anyways, let's watch a quick segment of his video. I'm going to test if the Earth is flat or not. And to do that, I actually need to go somewhere where it's super flat. So that's why I'm going to Regina, Saskatchewan in Canada, and I'm going 
to measure and calculate the size of the earth using just my bicycle and two sticks. This is not a joke. And since it's very flat here and there are no mountains to go around or hills to go over, this is one of the longest straight roads in the whole world. And that's why I'm here. As stated by the bicyclist, the Regina area is very flat and debunking the bicyclist was the primary reason Mike chose Highway 33 for this laser test. Let's get to it. The blue laser was set up at about five feet off of the railroad tracks. Here's a map and the coordinates for the laser. A big thank you to Mike, Scott, and the other Mike for conducting these tests. At first, Mike drove 10 kilometers away from the laser, which is 6.2 miles. Not a big deal. As you can see from this online calculator, which is very accurate, the target hidden height would only be eight feet under the globe. But Mike still shouldn't have been able to see it from inside his car. Now, all the footage you're going to watch was filmed by a cell phone. Not the greatest, but it's enough. So let's watch the video. Hello. Hey Scott, yeah, it's Mike here. Um, so yeah, I'm at exactly 10 kilometers uh, on a crossroad, just like okay. you just like you are. Okay. And uh, so yeah, just give me a second here. I'll switch the camera around. And uh, yeah, you can shoot that laser down if you can. Oh yeah, 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 come to the right, come to your right. Yeah, there you go, whoa, whoa, perfect, stop right there. Oh, go back to your left a little bit. A teeny bump, yeah, oh yeah, nice. A little bit to your left. Oh, that's exciting, yeah, beautiful. That comes almost right to my face. Yeah, go to your left a tiny bit more. Turn in your eyes! Yeah. <laughs> go to the left again? Yeah, a little teeny bit. Yeah, teeny bit. Well, it's like nothing. And like right there, perfect. Bang on. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now for this next segment, Mike was 14.3 kilometers or 8.9 miles. According to Globe Math, at that distance, Mike would have to be 25 feet high to see the laser if we lived on a globe. Obviously, he's not. Already, the globe model is clearly debunked. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm at 14.3 uh, kilometers. Did you just drive straight down the tracks? No, down the highway. <laughs> yeah, down the train tracks. Yeah. Um, oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah, stop right there. Beautiful. <laughs> Man, do I ever love that tripod. Yes. You're, yes. you're shooting right at my car. Okay, now hold on. I want to see if that's reflect. Oh, my God, that would be reflecting off my car. Here we go. All right, guys, that laser is reflecting off my car at 14.1 kilometers, and we've caged. Oh. <laughs> they probably think it's just a train coming down the highway. Look at that. The source of the laser is visible, and it's reflecting off of the car. That is a direct line of sight. There are no magical, bulge-removing refraction fairies causing that. Next is at 18.6 kilometers or 11.56 miles. Now, Mike would have to be around 52 feet high to see the laser, according to the globe. But he's obviously able to see the source of the laser again. Anyways, let's check it out. Yeah, 18 is, yeah, it's right on the railroad tracks. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, it looks like there's like a... Yeah, right, bring, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, perfect, again, it's shining right on, yeah, absolutely perfect, yeah, uh, that's perfect, oh, I can easily go another, I'll go another 10 easily, <laughs> this is hilarious, yeah. you're, you're 66 feet below the point I'm standing in, eh? oh, yeah, well, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is perfect, Mike, what are you at, what distance are you at? I'm at 18.6 kilometers. Next, we're at 22.4 kilometers or 13.9 miles. That's a curvature drop of 83 feet that should be hidden behind the globe bulge. Try again. You're at 25? I'm um, at 22.4. Well, that's close enough. Yeah, but I, I can keep going. <laughs> there, 
Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I can finally see it now. A little bit. Tiny. Okay, you guys you like it. Tiny. Yeah, yeah, right there. Go higher. Yeah, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect, perfect. A little bit. It? Yeah, it's getting more. It looks like a big circle to me. I'm not touching it now, so. Yeah, okay. Um, well, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that, and I'll go a little further. Or... Okay. Next, we're at 26.3 kilometers, or 16.3 miles. Under the GLOW model, the laser should have been 123 feet below the Earth's curvature. Okay. Yeah, I'm at 26.3. Oops. But before we get to the laser test, listen to this discussion Scott, the gentleman manning the laser, has with a passerby who is curious about what was going on. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, sorry if it bothered you, but... It's all good, I mean. Curious, right? Curious, yeah, you know, just, uh, <laughs> there would be a laser shining down the road. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, we're, uh, conducting to disprove the globe, is what we're actually doing. Because on the tangent of a ball, any straight line after 10 miles is supposed to be a 66-foot drop. And this, it's like, it would be best conducted over a surface of water, actually, because that's unmanipulatable, right? This could be wavy like this, but this is the longest, straightest survey track in North America. Did you know that? This, whatever, track 33, 140-some kilometers. Longest, straightest survey track in North America, so we're just uh, doing this. But, yeah. Yes, we will. Thank you for stopping. All right, Scott. Right on, man. Yeah, we're good. Good job, Scott. Are you going to turn it back on or what? Yeah, that's perfect, Scott. That's good that you talked to him there. Yeah. Yeah. He is just curious. He wasn't mad. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, well, now we're way off the track again. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be perfect right there, Scott. Good. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, we're going to break the record. The, like, I only have to go another uh, six kilometers to break the, the the distance of this laser, so. Okay, you go do that lane. Yeah. So I'll go to. Yeah, I'll go to 30 or whatever I can go to next, okay? Okay. Next, we're at 29.8 kilometers or 18.5 miles. This is about the same distance of our Bear Lake test. And the curvature of the Earth, if it were real, should have hid 165 feet behind it. Okay. Yeah, 29.8 kilometers. 25.8? 29. Yeah, we'll try to do 33 if we can get this one working. Yeah, oh, and now it's... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, whatever you're doing there is good. Um, Just, yeah, okay, it's coming on the tracks again. Yeah, keep it perfect. Absolutely perfect, right there. Okay, good. We confirmed that one. I'm going to 33 kilometers, and we're going to call her quits. Let's get to Mike's final test at 32.6 kilometers or 20.26 miles. Based on the GLOW model, Mike would have to be 205 feet up to see the bright laser source. Or you can also say the laser source should have been 205 feet below the GLOW bulge. 205 feet is huge. Yeah, 32.6 kilometers. Yeah, just keep bringing it down or whatever. Yeah, okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Per, um, a little bit more. If you can, yeah, okay. And, oh, it's, it's right there. One little bit more. Yeah, well, whatever, whatever that happened, yeah, okay, that was good. So, yeah, this confirms 33 kilometers. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I can just see it in the phone, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Well, guys are flashing us again. Yeah.
You want, you want me to? I'll head back now. Okay. Okay. We'll, uh, hold this up yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we could have even went further, guys. Uh, that thing goes a long ways. But I confirmed. Here we go. I got to confirm the distance. Call it thirty. 2.6 call it 33 call it whatever you want uh, but that's what we did here are the coordinates mapped out for you as well with the final test coordinates according to google maps that's presumably a distance of 21.17 miles or a globe hidden of 227 feet that's actually a little bit better than my great salt lake test and mike says he's going to try for even further so stay tuned I hope he succeeds. There you have it, 21.2 miles on a well-surveyed flat ground. The laser should have been 227 feet below the horizon. As we have proven again and again, there's absolutely no globe curvature, whether over water, land, or ice, oceans, lakes, ground, it doesn't matter. If there's no curvature at 21 miles, there's no curvature anywhere. And that means there is no globe. Welcome to our flat earth. Thank you for watching.